Hello, my name is Matthew Brown, and I am a PhD candidate at Simon Fraser University in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. This is a fast tutorial about how to combine multiple CIF files into one CIF file quickly using the dosh slash windows command line. I will also have versions for Linux and a combined one that shows Linux, Windows, and why not to use PowerShell for this. Um, the first thing is the Cambridge Crystallographic Data Center does not recommend you combine your CIF files before uploading them. Um, apparently, there's occasionally issues splitting them back out into multiple files for inclusion in the database. However, journals do prefer you submit them as one file. So I'm going to show you this method. Um, as a note, all of these files have the complete authorship, publication, and so on information in them. Uh, that's fine. The CIF format does not care if you list authorship five times inside the file. Uh, it just means that the authorship's associated with that particular structure rather than with every structure in the file. If you wanted to use a separate authorship block, I don't, but you might, just make a file author.cif and include it as the first CIF that you merge. That said, Let's go over to, we've got our folder of SIFs here. Let's copy that address, dxrd slash tutorial. Go over to our old fashioned DOS command line here. If you don't know how to get to the DOS command line, press Windows key and the R key. This box will pop up, type in CMD for command. Okay, and there's a new command line. We don't need two of those, so I'll close that. So press CD for change directory, uh, you can then paste by right clicking on the mouse. You can't just hit control V yet. Um, or you might now, I use an older fashioned way, uh, hit enter. It doesn't move it's because in my case, maybe not yours, my files are on a different drive. So I just type in that drive letter, hit enter, and we're where we need to be. To see the files in this directory, we type in dir and there they are. So now, type types out the contents of these files. So if I go to bippy.sif, it's all displaying the screen now. It's not very useful, so I'm going to kill that by pressing control C and show the directory again. So there's our files. So that's what that does, but that's not very useful. So let's take the rest of these. Uh, you can complete the name by pressing the tab key if you have multiple files that start the same, just press it more than once. Uh, what's next here? PPN chain, PPN not chain, PPN peroxo, and terpy. And I think that's all of them. Good enough for this demonstration. And you can see the total here is 9709585 bytes. So now this arrow means redirect this output to a file. So you saw the output of this is just printing the file. So if I redirect that to dos.cif, do, 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 you can see dos.cif is now the same file size as all those other files combined. We've just merged them exactly as they are. Uh, and that's it. You've now combined those into one file. And you can see it's very long. Uh, and I think that's a lot faster than going to, all right, let's go to two bippy, edit it with notepad plus plus, select all copy. Oh, let's make a new file. Okay. Uh, let's go back here, edit, copy, paste, and so on. Uh, I think it's a lot faster, especially when you get into having a lot of these at once and it makes it easy to see what the order is rather than copying and pasting them. Uh, that's just my opinion. I hope it helps. Uh, if you have any trouble with this technique, if you have any comments or suggestions on how I can improve my tutorials, please contact me at either mba83 at sfu.ca or Matthew Lachlan Brown at gmail.com. Thank you very much.